All right, so these are the Embiid ones from Under Armour. Now, this is a very interesting shoe because A, it's a signature sneaker for a big man, which is something that we really haven't seen since like Dwight Howard back in 2013. And B, Under Armour uses Micro G foam in here, which just happens to be my favorite foam of all time. However, Micro G has not been used properly, at least in a hoop shoe for a few years now. So the question is, did Under Armour trust the process with the Embiid ones? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the Embiid one can really be broken down into three parts. The cushioning, which like I said, I'm very excited about. The materials, which I'm actually not so excited about. And then of course, this TPU piece here that you could see on the lateral side, which is probably the most standout feature on the Embiid one, at least visually, thanks to its bright, vibrant gradient fade design. Now, aside from looks, this TPU piece is very important since it adds an extra layer of support when you're gonna be moving laterally. So side-to-side -side movements are gonna feel real secure in these. And from what I can tell, it doesn't really seem to dig or pinch your foot in any way. So this is a very simple but effective way to create a secure environment for your feet. I think Under Armour did a very good job here, providing enough support, not just for a seven foot beast in Embiid, but for everyday Joes like you and I, without being too overpowering. Now the rest of the upper is made up of this open mesh material, which honestly is kind of just okay. It's not terribly breathable. There is a tighter mesh underlay on the inside of the shoe, which kind of blocks off a lot of the ventilation that the open mesh upper is capable of. But my main gripe with the materials is that it doesn't really seem to conform around my foot as nicely as I would like it to. Now this could be considered a good thing if you're a wide footer because the Embiid one is surprisingly accommodating for wide footers, but for everyone else, you might find that there is a little more dead space in these than you would like, particularly around the sides of the forefoot and directly behind the heel. But even then, I still wouldn't recommend going down half a size because I went true to size and the fit both length and width wise was fine. It's just that those materials, they didn't snap to my foot as well as I would like. However, despite the unrefined fit, the comfort factor with the Embiid ones is off the charts. Both the tongue and collar areas are extremely well padded and the open mesh upper is a very soft material on the interior and on the exterior, it has some abrasiveness to it with a light plastic coating that doesn't take away from the flexibility of the material, but does add some extra durability alongside some fused overlays and high wear areas, which is gonna help you get the most out of your dollar. Speaking of longevity, the outsole's traction pattern, which uses a topography pattern that I think is designed after the Rumpy Hills and the Cameroon Mountain, has a very deep tread that isn't ultra durable, but it is rigid enough to last a little longer than most outsoles. And on top of that, the rubber compound feels extremely tacky and on the hardwood in my home, sticks to the floor like glue. So I have no reason to believe that the traction won't be just as good on the court, especially since Under Armour has a really good track record with their traction. So it looks like the Embiid one is no exception. All right, so now we gotta talk about the cushioning because like I said earlier, Micro G foam is an all time favorite foam of mine and hover foam has also been very enjoyable throughout the past few years as well. However, Under Armour implements both technologies here. And when I first stepped foot into the Embiid one, I gotta say my love for Micro G was resurrected. When you're just standing around, the Micro G foam is incredibly comfortable and plush. But when you start moving around and activating the foam, Micro G responds with bounce that really energizes the whole experience and in my opinion is perfect for a shoe like the Embiid one. We all know Joel Embiid is this big guy who plays the center position. So I do have to admit that I was a little skeptical when I heard Under Armour was giving him his own signature sneaker because in the years past, the signature shoes of big men have infamously not sold well. And I think a big reason for that is because shoes that are designed for big guys aren't as user friendly as shoes that are designed for like a wing or a guard. However, the Embiid one, I am confident, is going to be a solid buy for any player at any size, at any position, with really any play style. And a big reason why I say that 
is because of this cushioning system. Seriously, guys, if you haven't tried Micro G or Hover Foam yet, this is the shoe that you should introduce yourself with because the step in comfort with these is absolutely incredible. And once you get your foot inside them, you'll definitely feel what I'm talking about. Now, another small but important detail I wanna talk about here is that even though from a distance, these may look like a low top, they're not. The Embiid one is a true mid-cut sneaker. The low top lovers are not going to love these since this collar area definitely wraps around your ankle as opposed to going underneath it. So if you're looking at these like, oh, it's just another low top silhouette, they're not, which is fine because again, I think that the Embiid one is designed to cater to a wide range of players with different play styles. So having that extra support with this mid-cut collar is really gonna come in handy. Now, as for the visuals, my honest opinion on these guys is the materials really don't do this silhouette justice. That open mesh upper, it's honestly just kind of cheap looking. And that's a real shame because I really love what Under Armour did with the rest of the silhouette. I really like the overall topography, you know, wavy style design elements that is incorporated with the outsole as well as that TPU lateral piece, which obviously gives the Embiid one a much needed splash of color on this colorway. But at the end of the day, I do think it's an overall safe design that isn't going to put the look good, play good sentiment to fruition, but it's also not going to cramp your style at all. I do wish that Under Armour added some more green elements on this particular colorway, because if I'm not mistaken, this is inspired by Cameroon's flag colors. So it would have been nice to see this neutral gray midsole as the same shade of green that's on the lace tips, but I guess you can't hit them all. We're just gonna have to chalk this up as a missed opportunity for Under Armour. All right, so at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, for $120, I think the Embiid one has a ton of value. I mean, obviously, I wish I could go out there and play in these for you guys, but all of the courts out here are still closed. So everything I said here today was really just an expert opinion. But I really, really do think that if you could tolerate the generic visuals of these, the Embiid one is going to be a very solid buy, especially for you wide footers out there. So if you're interested, there is a link down below. It is not sponsored in any way, even though East Bay sent these over. You know, that has nothing to do with my opinion on the Embiid one, which so far is actually very positive, which kind of caught me by surprise, especially considering the fact, you know, that the Under Armour Curry line has kind of gone downhill in the past few years. So I'm very impressed with these. So again, link down below. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Are the visuals too generic for you? Are you intrigued with them performance wise? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to chop it up with you guys. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more sneaker related content just like this. My name's Jaren, it's Rigate Avenue. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.